At the young age of three, I wanted to be a professional athlete. I played tennis for Thibodeau High School. My sophomore year, I tore my rotator cuff, so I was able to spend a lot of time with my high school athletic trainer and really get to see what he does. And I thought that was a perfect fit for me and my interests. That's the path I chose to take. I've worked several LHSAA events for Oshner, and this is the second time I get to experience a championship. There's a lot of misunderstanding with personal training. There is a lot of overlap with that, but people don't recognize us as healthcare professionals. We really want to make ourselves known as such. I did not even know what an athletic trainer was when I went to college. I went to a small private school. We didn't have one. I usually show up around midday, around 12, 1 o'clock, when their sports classes are taking place. Check up on any new injuries, anybody that uh, got beat up the, the day before. Um, and then practices after school, covering practices, and then of course games, setting up the sidelines, getting the water situation uh, ready to go. And just small things behind the scenes that a lot of people just don't see, uh, athletic trainers are pretty much doing. We tape anyone that needs to get taped, so like a girl that has an ankle sprain gets taped for an ankle job. During the games, you know, you look out for any like dives where maybe the girl hit her head or two girls collide. You just want to make sure that they stand up and they both look happy and good and, you know, so you can go through the rest of the game. The biggest misconception is that games is all we do. You need to wear a lot of hats. <laughs> You're not just the person who's gonna take care of them if they get hurt on the field. You're the person who's gonna help them mentally when they after they get injured on the field. You're the person who's going to talk to them in the hallway just because you wanna ask them how, how their day is. So many kids will remember that. Every athlete's different, so you gotta look and see what's their body type, uh, where's their background coming from. Every injury is somewhat unique, every person is unique. You have to take everything into consideration. You have to take what position they play, what year are they, uh, and different things that may be individual. And sometimes there's not a textbook answer for what to do in a certain situation. Having a group of athletic trainers that are out there making sure that every school out there has access to the same level of care that the professional and collegiate level athletes are getting access to, Oscar's making that happen. And I think that the safety of the athletes is at an entirely different level. Sports medicine is a team sport and nobody can do it alone. So we have a huge team of people and to see all the work that goes in behind the scenes uh, is impressive. It's us as the athletic trainers, the team physician, the physical therapist. We all collaborate and make sure that these athletes are getting the best care possible. The energy from the crowd and the sideline, you know, erupting for everything, it changes our attitude as well. We get just as excited as the kids and the coaching staff. The feeling on the field is unlike any other. 